بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہائی ایوری بڑی ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ وٹ ٹو ڈو ایف یو انجرڈ یور سیلف ود این انسٹرومنٹ انفیکٹڈ ود ہیپاٹائٹس بی دس شارٹ ویڈیو از ویری نیسیسری ٹو واچ اسپیسیفکلی فار دوز پرسنس who are healthcare professional so let's get started there will be always two scenarios after getting prick from a hepatitis b infected patient the person who got prick will be either naturally immunized previously through infection with hepatitis b virus are vaccinated previously or the person will not immunized previously suppose the person is not immunized previously and got prick from hepatitis b infected patient then he or she is needed to get full dose course of hepatitis b virus vaccine he or she should receive one dose of vaccine stat post prick then get second dose after one month and the third dose should be received after six months he or she must also receive two doses of hepatitis b immunoglobulin one dose should be received stat post prick and second dose should be taken after one month of first dose now move on to the second scenario if a person who got prick is not previously immunized then first of all his or her anti hbs antibody must be checked If the person is immunized and have adequate level of anti hbs antibody such as more than 50 international unit then there is no need of hepatitis b virus vaccine administration and there is also no need of hepatitis b immunoglobulin administration On the other hand if the person is immunized but have inadequate level of anti hbs antibody such as less than 50 international unit then he or she should receive a single booster dose of hbv vaccine and a single dose of hbig his or her anti hbs antibody should be checked after one month if it is more than 50 international unit then there is no need of further vaccine administration but if less than 50 international unit then he or she should receive second dose of hbv vaccine immediately and also have to get third dose of vaccine after 6 months of second dose the information which i shared with you is according to who and cdc recommendations it is worth to watch again and remember forever and also share with your colleagues Thanks for giving your 